Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to our review of the Sony InZone M3. Now, the M3 is something that was announced in 2022. It's finally here in 2023, and we checked out the M9 from Sony last year. Now, the M9, if you recall, was a 4K gaming monitor with 144 hertz refresh rate, it was really nice. And what does the M3 bring to the table? First of all, side by side, they look similar, similar design, but they are clearly very different with the M9 on the left, the M3 on the right. The M3 brings something quite unique. This is a 1080p 27 inch IPS gaming monitor with a refresh rate of 240 hertz. Uh, so you're getting, of course, that fast refresh rate, especially for gamers who are looking for, you know, quick action, activity, all that fun stuff that you need. Now, response time you get is also one millisecond, so you've got all that built into this monitor. This is a HDR 400 monitor, so it's brighter in certain scenes. Now, when you look at the monitor itself, you've got the same features you have in the M9, where it tilts up and down, you can slide it back and forth. Now, I didn't mention this the first time with the M9. I do like the way the design of the stand is, but it does hinder if you have a smaller desk uh, because it would take up a lot of the footprint of the desk the way it's actually laid out. That's just an FYI for you guys out there, but it works out pretty well. Now, in terms of ports, you've got one display port, two HDMI 2.1 port, of course, which means it supports uh, variable refresh rates. Uh, you've got three USB ports, uh, and it also has a built-in KVM. This is something we saw with the uh, M9 from last year, and that's a pretty cool feature again, allowing you to switch and toggle between multiple devices, and of course, still using your keyboard and mouse connected. Absolutely lovely. Now, what does that mean for all this in terms of pricing? This is where Sony still does the same magic they did with the M9. It's priced at 549 bucks, which is truly impressive for a 27 inch, uh, 240 hertz gaming monitor with these kinds of specs. So what are we getting with this? Now, let's look at some of the performance. First of all, when you're playing games like Doom Eternal and getting that 240 frames per second is absolutely amazing for very smooth gameplay, very fast and responsive, looks absolutely gorgeous gameplay feels good. And again, for a gamer who is a pro gamer or at least is trying to be an elite gamer, this will help you, of course, with those faster refresh rates. Now, the InZone M3 also comes with a lot of the features that you'd expect from the M9. So you have the software, which you can download just like the M9 and use that, of course, to navigate the controls uh, of the monitor itself or you can actually do that with the physical buttons uh, right behind. There is a toggle joystick as well as a power button on the back. It allows you to toggle between some of the cool features. There's some game features like an FPS counter. Of course, you've got your uh, different gaming modes, FPS, uh, game one, game two, custom, you know, RTS, all that fun stuff. And of course you can toggle between your settings to customize this. Now you can do a lot of that toggling pretty great, but because this is an Enzo monitor, it means that it also works with your PlayStation 5. And one of the cool things about the PlayStation 5 is that you don't have to actually go ahead and customize the monitor to fit the PlayStation 5 because it does that automatically. It's built in, uh, you plug in your PlayStation 5, it tells you, hey, look, this has already been customized uh, for the PlayStation 5, but you can still, you know, change it to whatever you feel like. And that allows for some really crisp, beautiful gameplay. Because of course it supports HDMI 2.1, your PlayStation 5, all the features you'd expect, and I, from the PlayStation 5 work with this monitor pretty well. So which means, of course, you've got some rich colors, HDR, VRR, uh, playing something like, you know, God of War Ragnarok looks very vivid and bright. Even though it's a dull looking game, uh, you still get a lot of that from there. Now on the other side, it's got built-in speakers, two two-watt speakers. Let's hear how they sound and I'll tell you what I think. Honestly, they are pretty weak. 
This is one of the biggest downsides with this monitor is that these speakers do not do a good job in enhancing the sound. And the best thing to do, of course, is use a headset. You can use the InZone headset from Sony, which we checked out. It's something uh, I would say that pairs pretty well because of course the software features that are built in. But honestly, the speakers are just not cutting the cake. Now looking at what Sony has brought to the table with the uh, M3, I think this is a solid gaming monitor. You have a ton of features, connectivity to the PlayStation 5, and also the fact that of course you get 240 hertz, especially for people who are trying to be pro elite gamers. So if you have any questions or any comments about the Sony InZone M3 and you want to pick one up, use our links down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Definitely check out more videos right now during CES because we are at the show. And always enjoy entertainment.